Well, wouldn't you know, I just discovered something that is uh, very disconcerting. I checked the widths of them, and those are good. And I checked the width of this guy here, which the two end cabinets that go on the ends, the lower ends. And something didn't add up. So I, I wrote down the measurement, and they're 31 and 5 16 You can see that right there. And those are the measurements of the the, uh, the bigger cabinets, 36 or so. And I said to myself, this doesn't make sense. I have it on here that these pieces are supposed to be 27 and 9 16 long by 13 and a half deep. And I have them on all of them. They're on all, all these pieces. So I'm, I'm wondering how in the world did this not get cut to 27 and 9 16 my theory is when I was building this I was too concerned about ripping these at 13 and a half and so if you look at here this is really hard to see but if you look here 66 inches so that's the big upper right there right there's a whole bunch of them they're 66 well if you look next to it 27 and 9 16 there's four of them because I had a stop set up for the, the 66s, when I rough cut them, um, I, I had a stop so to make it faster. And then I flip it over to cut them to length. But that stop made it so every one of these pieces was the exact same length. And that's what screwed me up. Because when I went to collect those guys, I saw they were exactly the same length. And I guess I just totally forgot that I hadn't cut them at 27 and nine sixteenths. Speed it up a couple of days, and I realized that I completely screwed up and made these cabinets with uh, pieces that are too long. So now I need to figure out how I'm going to take these two cabinets and make them smaller. So I've come up with a plan, and here's my plan. I'm going to take two new pieces of wood and I'm going to cut them to fit right in between the space in between here. And that dimension is, I wrote it down here so I wouldn't uh, forget, 23 and 13 sixteenths, a little over. So it's a 64th over and I want to make sure that this is nice and tight. So when I put it in here, it's nice and tight. So then what I did was I actually have a spacer here and I've measured from the outside to the outside of the new part, which is where it should be. Uh, that dimension is 28 and a half. In order to get a spacer to put my divider or my new end panel exactly where I want it to be, I measured that and it's 2 and 1 16th. Now the good thing is there's there is a silver lining to this, and that is um, these are inside all these cabinets, so the depths of them it's recessed, and these are going against the wall. So I don't have to worry about you know anything on the sides being visible, um, you know like some of these cabinets. So that's a good thing. Um, the other thing is I can choose which side I want to work on, which is also a good thing. Um, because you know you might want to work on the wall side you might want to work it doesn't really matter because it's all going to be covered with a face frame and cabinets on either side or a wall so really it doesn't matter but it does give you a little bit of you know gives me a little bit bit of wiggle room okay so um, beyond the total and utter stupidity of not cutting these at the right length this stuff happens and I'm going to tell you it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this type of stuff. It just, it happens. And unfortunately, it happened to me. I will say this, if I didn't check this dimension wise, and I went ahead and build the, uh, the face frames on this, um, once that's done, you're pretty much, you know, you're, you're at that point where you're like, yeah, I'm just going to build a new cabinet. But I've, I've um, checked, you know, I figured out what the time it's going to take for me to do this. And I figured that I could do the two repairs much faster than I can build a new cabinet. Plus, I don't have to worry about all this material that I'll lose. I just have to add 
two pieces in here and the back's already going to be attached because I'm going to put, you know, glue on the back and then nail that on. So the back is already going to be attached and everything will be complete once I put these panels in. So really it's just a matter of me, you know, doing that and um, getting this thing fixed up. And I just have to, you know, really, uh, I feel like I'm real lucky to have figured out that I made that mistake rather than taking it to the job and having it be five inches too big for the opening. So um, that, that's what would have happened, right? You would have taken it. And here's another thing. When I, when I need to measure for the drawer boxes, there's three in each, all those drawers would have been wrong. They would have been too big. So all those drawers would have been scrapped. And that would have been a, a serious, costly mistake. So I'm, I feel really lucky that I was able to figure, find this out and, um, you know, we can solve the problem. But I just wanted to post a video on, on what to do, how to fix these mistakes that come up. You just have to think about it and come up with a solution that is going to give you, one, an accurate fix, and two, an unnoticeable, un completely undetectable fix. And um, that's what we're going to get with this. So... Um, Stay tuned as I try to fix this up. All right, I've got my glue. I'm ready to go. All right, so I'm going to put a little glue on this guy. Right in the middle there. And... You make sure that the good side is facing in which means this is the top side when you cut it, you know, when you rip it. All right, put a little on the back as well. So, Got that nice and tight there. So that'll lock that guy in. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back nail also. It's pushing up pretty hard towards the left. And then. Okay, so that's good. Now I can go ahead and hit the bottom. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit this guy. Okay. Now when I tilted it in place, I got just a little bit of glue on that top. It's not a big deal, but I'm going to wipe it. Okay. All right, so now I can... I don't need that anymore. I can use that on the bottom side, might as well. And push tightly. I just, since it's already there, I'm going to put a reference line. So that's going to be my line for when I put the bottom piece in so that piece will just go right on that line and make it simple okay so now let me nail it back on as far as like where the the actual um, piece is but i can take the block of wood and i can see where i've nailed and essentially i can measure over and then just uh, do that so since I've got this block of wood I can just take this guy and I can just come down here put a line there are no 
blow out, so that's always nice. All right, so that's good. I can uh, let that thing dry. So I'm ready to trim this guy off, and I'm going to use my table saw. So I'm going to measure to the left side of the saw blade, from here to this inside. I can do two cuts with the table saw, but I can't do that bottom cut with the table saw. It's up too, too high. So I'm going to use the jigsaw for that, but that will be the last cut because I need the, I need everything to be intact in order to reference off um, the fence. So if this is off a little bit, it's okay because I can clean it up with the flush trimmer if I need to. So it looks like I'm going to avoid the hitting the nails on that back panel everywhere. So that's good. But all right, so let's go ahead and put the dust collector on and um, get this. So it's just going to be one of those things where you're just going to have to Push it through, no dust collection, unfortunately, because it's so high up. But um, I'm going to put my uh, fan on just to help, because it might be dusty. dusty. So this is good. I'm going to go ahead and break this off. Uh, it'll make cutting the um, thing out a little bit easier. So um, I guess at that point, uh, this thing will be hopefully decent. The only thing I'll have to do is put that bottom on. And I think I'm going to do that with some pocket screws maybe. That might be easier because I have a part here that a partition so I won't be able to um, nail it like normal. So I think I'm just going to do some pocket screws. All right. I'm just going to knock this thing out. Should just, well, now that I remember, there's a, the back's glued on there, so yeah, I'm going to have to use a hammer. Get that guy out. Now I can still use that bottom, so that'll be good. All right, so now I just need to cut that guy off. And back on.
I'm going to cut this guy right there at that shoulder of the dado. That's going to give me the exact height that I need for this part. The first time I'm, I'm going to cut this, it's going to be a little bit, probably a little bit heavy. So I'm going to need to adjust it. Let's check this fit. So I just took this piece that I just cut off and put it on. This is the existing bottom. So this piece should be dead flush, pushed up against here. Oh man, that is, that is flush, man. There's no, <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, so that is dead nuts right there. Okay, so this guy's clamped on there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this piece here will go like this, right? And you see that gap? That's what I'm talking about. That's the bevel that was created. So this piece here is just clamped so that it, it brings the plane up. And now when I put this here, I'm nice and tight and I'm on plane with this. So that'll be exact. And as I tighten this screw down, it's going to want to push this guy. So I want to keep it from pushing it. So that's why this board's here. So that's okay. Don't tighten too much. Just enough to get it uh, secure. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a little push so that it doesn't come out. And this one here too. Okay, so now I can put a little cleat right there just to give it a little extra protection. So now that, this is glued together that way. It's glued up and it's glued here. So that's, that's got good support. Plus the pockets are going in. So that piece is gonna be pretty strong. And of course, we're not gonna go crazy, you know, killing this thing. But um, when, you, when I cut this at a bevel, just slightly at a bevel, because I wanted to hug that uh, thing, I noticed that, um, oh, you can see that pocket. See that pocket screw right there? just barely coming out. Um, you can see the difference in the alignment just because of the bevel. But when you put a straight piece on here, this is actually in the same plane as that. But it looks like it's off because of the amount that it's beveled from the jigsaw cut. So this is gonna go up against the right side. So this is gonna be cabinet here the walls there, and then this one's gonna be the opposite. 
So um, I think that that's going to be just fine. Okay. This is fixing my mess up, so I'm glad it looks like it's going to work. <laughs>